if you could do it all over again, how to make it better. And it's awesome, just learning. Better voice fails, maybe. <laughs> Thank you very much. I, uh, I, I think it is. You can hear me. Um, I'm not sure if we would change anything we did, actually. I think you want to make sure your quote is what something you feel strongly about and confident in. I think it, in hindsight for me, I will never ever again see a colleague going through a difficult time and not send an email or phone. I think that is something that I have learned means more than I ever understood. Thank you. Any other questions for our panelists? Yes, over here. Uh, for Linda, what was the uh, argument? I understand the argument to take the statue down. What would have been the argument? <laughs> what would be the argument to keep it up? Uh, you know, other than being the guy's great great grandson or something. Basically. So the the argument um, in in a nutshell. So the argument was that it's our history. You can't rewrite our history. Um, so you you know take, taking the statue down is, is is eliminating our history of Nova Scotians. Um, but also there was a lot of people who were saying he was a great leader. He brought a lot of um, uh, service to Nova Scotia. The founder of Halifax. Um, um, being the founder of different uh, rural areas in Halifax, so how could you not want to commemorate such a leader? Um, but there also was, and I didn't speak about this because I try, I try not to give the negative light, but there were also saying, why would you, how can you let these people dictate how we should commemorate and how we should remember our history? And that's just being me being very political. It's like some of the emails that we received were, were terrible, um, mostly because they did not want somebody else dictating their history. Uh, so it was, it was the, 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 a, a huge part of the arguments were the fact that you are not telling me that you're gonna take a statue down of somebody who is my, my history. So it was, it was really strange, like the arguments really didn't have any um, historical or researched um, backing to them. Um, they just, it was just anecdotal, don't do it because I don't want you to do it, take the thing. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Now, Lindell, I'm just wondering that taking down the statue is responding. <coughs> is Halifax Council considering the opposite uh, in trying to proactively uh, demonstrate or promote Indigenous history throughout the city? Stuff that you're bringing in as opposed to taking away? Yeah, that's a good, that's a good one. Uh, so we... Oh, that's, this is, this, I don't know how to answer that quickly. So we 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 established a council member who is the liaison between like the council and our our, our big mom, uh, assembly chiefs, which includes really many many of our, our friends. Um, so that's one thing that we're doing to figure out from them what do you want us to do as council. So there's we have an action plan that has recommendations of things we want to do, but at the end of the day, we're realizing, especially in the spirit of reconciliation, we don't want to dictate what needs to happen. So let's hear from, from all the communities, um, even if they're not paid part of HRM, you are obviously you know, part of our community. How, what do you see us doing in, in, in being part of the conversation? So really we're just trying to hear from them uh, in the terms of what do you want us to do, how do you want us to help, um, and we've got a lot of good information to you know, act on. A lot of it is not um, because it's the way that our municipality works. We don't have mandate over, we're trying to figure out how, do, how can we address these concerns and be more of an inclusive uh, city? So we're trying to be proactive, but at the same time, we don't want to dictate what needs to change because that's been just the rhetoric for forever, is dictating the change that we think we need rather than what do you need, okay, let's do it. Maybe we have time for one more, yes. Yeah, uh, first a comment, but then there's a question. I, I think uh, it's quite clear in in terms of what the uh, uh, Winnipeg Human Rights Museum, which is the indoor version of what we want to do, uh, that for them, uh, every time they considered a decision, somebody's freedom fighter was somebody else's terrorist. And it's quite clear from the evidence that you found that uh, uh, you were dealing with somebody who was a terrorist. And I think, uh, I'd ask Teresa if you'd be willing to have a statue uh, as a freedom fighter somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure, especially those at the back of the room, but if I can smell it at the front of the room, uh, we know that there is uh, lunch here. Uh, please join me one more time in thanking all of our panelists today.